Greetings from the Eccentric Man, and you can see Ted across the way. Uh, today we're going to have a look at a showcase of the 6mm Peninsula British. Let's have a look what we got. Well, I've been working on the 6mm Napoleonics for a little while now, and finally got this part of it completed. And what we have is the 3rd and Light Division from Wellington's army at the Battle of Basako in 1810 in the Peninsular War. So 3rd Division is on the left with a little uh, cavalry unit and the Light Division on the right. It's been based up for general to army at the moment but um, we can sort of think, swap it around for different rule sets. But let's have a little closer look at some of the units. So let's focus first in on the 3rd Division. The 3rd Division was commanded by General Picton and we have him at the front with his famous umbrella. So quite tricky, I think. But yeah, there we have Picton with his aides and his brigades behind him. We've got some artillery and some light dragoons or hussars. It's 1st Brigade, featuring the Scots Regiment. The basis at the front is uh, skirmish troops. Each brigade can have a line of skirmishers. So for us, that's what we've painted up. We've gone down the route of uh, eight figures per stand, which gives us a battalion of 32. Uh, roughly approximate, I think, in some scales to uh, regiment sizes. So our second regiment, our second brigade. This one has the American rifles. So that's that unit of three behind the skirmishers. Uh, and because they're rifles, uh, there were six companies uh, in this particular brigade. So we've tried to work it on uh, four stands for a battalion of eight, eight to 10 companies sort of thing. So for six, six um, companies, that's, we've gone down the route of three stands. But to, because they're light troops, to differentiate them, uh, or rifle troops, I've put them on bases of five instead of the eight figures. So that, that's sort of our, our theory behind uh, the basing side. Next up, third brigade. Each brigade has got its uh, commanders at the front. And here, this is a Portuguese brigade. There was two British brigades and one Portuguese brigade in the uh, third division. So uh, these are all Portuguese troops. I followed the order of battle for the Battle of Basako on uh, Wikipedia. So each of the British units and the um, Portuguese units for the third division are painted in the colours for their facings uh, for the particular regiment. So it's pretty good, it gives you the regiment number and just looking up on the internet you can find out the colours of their facings which is quite good. So next up is the Light Division and we'll have a look at, have a look at that. The Light Division was commanded by Brigadier General Crawford and it featured uh, Ross's horse artillery troop so they're the ones which we've painted up onto the uh, the left. And two brigades, and each brigade had a light regiment and a unit of capadors, a regiment of capadors, Portuguese capadors, and four companies of 95th rifles. So those are the ones at the front. Uh, and you've got the brigade, command, brigade commanders and you've got Crawford at the front with his ADCs. So that's a little closer look in. So we've got Crawford and his uh, adjuvants. Into the 95th Rifles and the unit Cacadors. And that's uh, either the 40, 143rd or the 152nd foot behind them. Uh, all light infantry. These are Adler figures, uh, six mil, 
Now, I've used the 95th rifle figures for the Kakadors because there didn't seem to be any other in the range, so I went down that route. Um, the British regiment behind is the flank company, so they do have um, their white wings on their shoulders. So that's the uh, brigade, one of the light division brigades. And then we've got the horse artillery with their guns to the side there. What I'll probably do next is put up uh, a little uh, turntable and we'll have a little look, if we can, closer up at the figures. So first up we have Picton with his umbrella and his ADCs. Uh, I think just because of the small figures and the lighting in here, they do look a bit shiny, but uh, in fact, they're not. So I've painted up her sort of the Hazari type dragoons for most of the ADCs. So, yeah, that's the Picton and his ADCs. Next up, one of the British line. And you can see we've got the uh, flank companies with their white flashes. So what we've done, tend to do for the flank companies is there, there's two flank companies, two, two sets of figures for the flank companies. And you can see there on the left, they've just got the plain white plume on the helmet. And on the right, they've got the green plume and uh, the rest are centre companies. Um, and that we, I've done that for all of the British foot regiments. So it's, uh, it's quite, quite a lot of figures. Uh, when we start to uh, put them all out on the table, uh, there's 32 figures per foot regiment. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten uh, foot regiments. Is that right? Uh, three, six, eight, yeah, ten. Ten foot regiments of uh, 32 each. And then we've got one, uh, probably about three. 320 man units and then the skirmishers so yeah uh, quite a few really so yeah that's the uh, the British line regiment so let's have a look at the riflemen so here we have the uh, the 95th rifles and there are eight companies so we've done them in four bases. And for the light division, they're split into two bases per brigade. But these are the, uh, the rifles. I have quite enjoyed uh, painting up the, the army in six mil. Surprisingly enough, it was a little bit daunting when I first opened up all the packs and looked at them. Uh, but then once we got into it, it wasn't too bad at all. And I quite enjoyed it. And when they're laid out on the table, it makes quite a spectacle, which is, uh, which is quite good. It was initially set up for General de Army. Uh, and we've, uh, we've played one little game of it. And it does seem a little bit complicated for us. Um, so we're going to be looking at trying to change it down to a different set of rules and perhaps looking at Blucher if we can uh, save up our pennies to buy it. So here we go, this is uh, this is the 95th Rifles. So next up we'll have a look at the uh, Kakadors. Right, so the Kakadors. Uh, using the 95th Rifles as um, the, the figures, 
and just painted them in the Kakadur Brown. Uh, what I have done, as you can see here, I've put a few casualty figures in to the, uh, to the base, so just to give it a little bit more life. But the Kakadors were a, a, a good Portuguese unit, uh, much along the lines of the, the 95th Rifles, but the Portuguese variety. So again, as a right, sort of a rifle skirmishy type, uh, we've put them into the bases of uh, four, five men to a base rather than the eight. So. We'll move on to the skirmisher units, which we've based three men to a base. You can see here that I followed on with uh, the casualty uh, figures, and in the skirmish bases I've put a couple of uh, casualties in the in the mix. So, yep, three men to a base to give us our skirmish units for the brigade, and. Uh, the brigade gets uh, a skirmish unit for each of the regiments that are in it. I think in general the army, I think uh, perhaps minus one. Can't remember. So, uh, yeah, so skirmish bases are the thing. And they've come up quite nicely on there. With the casualty figures giving a little bit of life. What I had with, with painting them is going a colour step lighter than what you want. So for the uniforms of these I went for uh, Evil Sun Scarlet from the GW range. And for the greens we've gone um, Warp Stone Glow. And then we've put a wash of Windsor & Newton Nut Brown Ink. Uh, that really helps the colours come out and a bit of differentiation between, between them when you've got these strappings and different things like that. Uh, and that, that was a good tip which we got from uh, Pear on Twitter, Pear Roller One, uh, who does an awful lot of 6mm. Uh, and he was due to be taking his 6mm, one of his 6mm uh, battles to salute this year. But sadly, he couldn't do it. But you can check him out, Pear. Roller one on Twitter. So yeah, they're the skirmish. Let's have a look at our brigade commanders. I must admit, I have had fun uh, putting together this army. Uh, all now I'm waiting for is John to paint up his French and for us to decide on our rule system, what we're going to use. But yeah, a project completed. So very pleased with that started to get a little bit of terrain and we'll have to do a little bit more of that I think. The uh, the tablecloth that we're using at the moment that I've got here is a 28 mil really or 15 mil at a pinch um, cigar box mat, battle mat. But what I think I will have to do is look at getting a specific 6 mil uh, one. So the brigade commanders. Well, Ted, who may be joining us for uh, some games during the lockdown, uh, has been listening on with uh, interest, and he may be uh, taking the part of the commander in some games, we shall have to see. Uh, but there's a little bit of the terrain that I've painted up for the peninsula side. Uh, some houses, a windmill and a little bridge. Now I've got some hills which is sort of six mil size which is good so I'm just going to start to look at getting some trees set up. But oh, that was a pretty noisy foot moving on the floor of the conservatory. So I hope you enjoy our little run through of my six mil Napoleonic British Army. Well I hope you enjoyed that and I think the next one up will be a showcase of my Infamy, infamy, 28 mil Romans. So, hope you enjoyed it. As I said, uh, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and share it with your friends if you think they'd like it. But 
comment below on anything that you want to know and I'll uh, answer them. So until the next video, take care, stay safe and uh, stay indoors.